Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Raghavendra. Today we are going with a lamina problem. Draw the top and front views of a hexagonal lamina of 30 mm sides having two of its edges parallel to both vertical and horizontal planes. And one of its edges is 10 mm from each of the planes of projection. The surface of the lamina is inclined at an angle of 60 degree to the HP. So it is a hexagonal lamina of 30 mm set. Two of its edges parallel to both VP and HP. Whereas one of its edges is 10 mm from each plane of projection. Surface makes an angle of 60 degree with respect to HP. That is theta is equal to 60 degree. Here he has not mentioned where and how the lamina is resting. So this will give for the second portion. That is 60 degree with respect to the HP. It we are using this value in the second portion. As it is with respect to HP, the lambda will be resting on HP only. Then how it is resting? Is it resting on corner on or edge? To understand that one, this statement will help. That is two of its edges parallel to both VP and HP. So this will comes into picture in the third portion. If in the third portion, if we want two of its edges parallel to both VP and HP means in the first position, we have to consider it is resting on HP only. Then only we can get in the third position like this. So first draw a horizontal line. Name it as XY, VP, HP. Now construct the hexagonal lamina of 30 mm side on HP by considering it is resting on H. So 30 mm. So while constructing this line manually with respect to this line, it has to make an angle of 60 degree. So it will be 30. So Make sure that the angle between these two lines will be 60 degree while drawing manually. So once again, from this end point with respect to this line, it has to be 60 degree. This is a straight line. And with respect to this one, once again, 60 degree. So while drawing manually, make sure that the angle between these two lines is once again 60 degree. This is the straight line. The angle between these two lines, once again, it is 60 degree. So like this, we have to maintain and we have to draw manually. So this is 30 mm. Naming. A. B. C. D. E, yeah. No, here we are not projecting this point to the x value. Why? Because he has mentioned one of its edges 10 mm from each plane of projection. So, for this condition, we have to project this one 10 mm above the x value. Here we have not maintained. Why? Because so still it is not with respect to the edge. So if we maintain also this corner will be with respect to 10 mm. It is not edge with respect to 10 mm. So first draw horizontal line above the x y line at a distance of 10 mm from x y. The distance between this line and x y line will be 10 mm. This has to be 10 mm. Now project these corners to this line. C and F are on the same line. Join these endpoints with thick line. So naming B, C, D are visible, whereas E, F, A are invisible. So it will be B dash in the bracket A dash C dash in the bracket F dash D dash in the bracket E dash. 
Show the aroma. Now this completes the first portion. For the second portion, he has given surface makes an angle of 60 degree with respect to HB. So this B dash D dash line has to make an angle of 60 degree with respect to HB or with respect to this horizontal line. Has to be 60 degree. This is B dash in the bracket A dash. This is D dash in the bracket A dash. Whereas C dash in the bracket F dash will be the midpoint. We can check that one. So this overall length is 51.96, whereas this one is 25.98, exactly half of this one. So it is midpoint of this line, C dash in the bracket F dash. So project in vertical direction. So from midpoint, draw vertically. So this point will be the C dash in the bracket F dash. Whereas this angle will be 60 degree. Now project horizontally. F to F dash. A and E are on the same line. So A will come here, whereas E will come here. Similarly, B and D are on the same line. C and C dash will come here. This is A. B. C, D, E, F. Join all the six corners with thick line. So B to C, to D, to E, to F, to A, back to D. <laughs> Show the aroma. <laughs> this completes the second portion. For the third portion, he has given two of its edges parallel to both VP and HP. So Two of it just means we have to consider A, B and D. So these two should be parallel to both VP and HP, nothing but it has to be parallel to X, Y line. So to make sure that this has to be rotated by 90 degree and draw here. But directly we can't draw. Why? Because, because of this statement, one of its edge is 10 mm from each plane of projection. Already we maintained that 10 mm in the front view. In top view, we have not maintained. To maintain that one, First, draw a horizontal line below the XY line at a distance of 10 mm from XY line. So the distance between these two lines should be 10 mm. This should be 10 mm. No, either AB should be on this line or DE should be on this line. Whatever it may be the case. So both the edges are parallel to each other. Why? Because both are parallel to each other. No, I will go with AB on this line. The length of AB is 30 mm. Draw 30 mm line on this horizontal line. So this should be 30 mm. So this is A, whereas this one is B. Now I'll go with DE first. D length is also 30 mm, but the line joining A, B, D respectively are perpendicular to the line D and A, B. That is this line and this line are perpendicular to A, B. So from A and B, we have to draw the perpendicular line of length this much. That is 
25.98. So from B, from a line perpendicular to AB of 25.98 mm. Similarly, from A also, 25.98 mm. Now join these two with a thick line. So where A is there, there E will come. Similarly, where B is there, there D will come. So once we get these four, next will be F and C. To get F and C, this B, C, D, C, similarly E, F, A, F, all the four lengths are same. That is 19.84. If you want, you can check 19.84 only. It will be same. So, ds center 19.84 mm as radius trainer similarly bs center 19.84 mm as radius drainer same case with respect to a and d es center 19.84 mm as radius drainer as center 19.84 mm as radius turn up. This will give us other two endpoints. This corner D plus E endpoint E. So A, B, this one will be C. This is F. Projecting in upward direction. B dash is on this line till this line. From me, A dash is on this line till this line. Before projecting from other points, project horizontally. From this point horizontal, only from this one horizontal. C, C dash is on this line till this line. F, F dash is on this line till this line. There is a T, it is on this line, so till that line. So this is A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, because this one is F dash. Join all the six corners with thick. A dash to B dash to C dash to D dash to E dash to F dash to E dash. Show that one. So this completes the problem. Thank you. Please subscribe my channel.